Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Kalala and today I'm going to be customizing some phone cases for my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So let's get into it. So for this case, I'm going to be painting like Bimo from Adventure Time and I think it's like the perfect use for this phone. I'm going to paint his like face on this front part here and then I'm going to put a gif on the screen so currently I've got Kirby on there and this is the way around that you'd normally have the phone so I'm going to switch the gif so that when you double tap it and I've got Bimo on here it's going to look like his face is on there as well and I think that's just like a really cool way to like make use of this phone like how it is so I'm going to paint it with this color this is practically the same color as Bimo anyway and it's from my Arteza outdoor acrylic paint um, set. So basically because it's an outdoor acrylic, they put something in it to make it tougher than like normal acrylics. And hopefully that should mean it won't like wear off easily because I know people have used like Poscas on phone cases and it can wear off really easily. So this should stop that from happening. I will however be using some Poscas to add like the details of BMO, you know, like his buttons on the front and that. But yeah, for now, I'm going to paint this all over, including the back. And then once that has dried, I can add the details of my Poscas. So the front and the back are now painted. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Poscas, which I have here. I've got all the right colors. And oops, and I'm gonna go and draw all the details for the front of BMO. For this phone case, I actually got this off AliExpress ages ago and it came with this and I ended up pulling it off. And I've decorated this a few times with stickers so it's a bit like used. But yeah, it comes with this chain which I'm gonna put on at the end. This is a pop socket which I'm gonna stick back on. And I'm gonna be using some puffy paint with a nozzle on it, like a piping nozzle. You can kind of see I've used it. It's already got like purple in it. And I'm just gonna screw this on to the end. So if you don't find packets like this, I got this in the works, which is a craft shop slash bookshop slash hobby shop, I guess, in the UK. Um, you can always get some puffy paint and put it into like a disposable piping bag. And then like you can get nozzles as well. So I do do that method sometimes. And then I've got like these little charms. So I got this in a remint and little twin stars remint. And the good thing about this is like sometimes I use like these little charms or whatever you want to call them. And I've got these ones as well. If you get tired of your case or you stick them on something, you can you quite easily usually just pull them off. So it's not a loss and you can probably wash it if you get paint on it and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and First of all, use some double-sided tape just to stick this on. So this would be the back. So that's nice and stuck down and then I can pipe around it. So I'm using this piping tip I think I changed it from the original one. So I'm just gonna like squeeze the puffy paint through. Now if you're worried about going straight in, you can always like do a couple test bits on a piece of paper. Next I'm going to 
place on my little charms. Now these should just stick perfectly onto this like puffy paint. You don't need to add any glue or anything. You just need to add it while it's still wet. I can't remember how long this takes to dry, but it definitely doesn't take hours. It should be, I guess, ready in about half a day or so. And then I'm going to add some of these as well. So I'm gonna just like leave this to dry and then I can put the chain on afterwards. Now for this case, I actually 3D printed it. Luckily, I had a friend who could model this for me. So you can kind of see it's like Hello Kitty's face. All of this extra stuff are like the support. So when it's like printing out, it won't like collapse, for example, the phone is gonna like sit in here. If there were no supports, this top bit would kind of just drop onto here. So that kind of makes sense. And then this is going to be the front. You can kind of see the hole here where I will be able to see like the front cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, I've got some like snipper, like a snipping tool to basically cut all of this off and then I will show you what it looks like and then I can just add in like there's holes for like diamonds or like the diamante things and then I can colour the bow, the nose and the eyes. So here is the Hello Kitty phone case and I've taken off all the supports and I can kind of see it properly. So that's going to be the bottom, that's going to be the top. Obviously this is so silly and ridiculous. I'm probably not going to use this as like my everyday case because it's quite big but I thought it was just such a cute idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in the eyes, the nose and the bows. Oh, I'm a poet. So I've got a glittery pink, a glittery yellow, and then just a black for the eyes. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. So for this case, I've obviously colored the bows, eyes and the nose, constantly rhyming here on my channel. And then I'm gonna be using like these um, half circle, half dome gems, whatever you want to call them, for like these bigger holes. And then I don't have ones which fit here. So I'm gonna be using this sparkly like um, nail gel, nail varnish, whatever you call it. And then I'm gonna cure it under my UV lamp as it is like a gel polish. And yeah, to stick down the gems, I'm gonna be using my E6000 glue. This has plus on it, which means that it doesn't have like an iodar like the normal E6000 glue does. So I kind of recommend using that, especially if you're not like, if you don't like really strong smells or like, you know, that chemically gluey smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking everything down. So I've done the like nail varnish on the like dots and I've put the gems in and I also did it on this one. And lastly, to kind of just give it a bit more shine, 
I'm gonna use this. I'm kind of cheating here. Basically, this is like clear nail gel stuff. I don't really use it. So I thought what I'll do is just coat these two and like a, try and do like a thin layer to be like protect it and then kind of make it a bit shiny. Similar to like UV resin. So I'm not gonna like bore you and make me, make me, make you, sorry, watch me do all of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and coat it all cure it under my UV lamp and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the final Hello Kitty case and as you can see it's like nice and shiny. So now I'm going to put all the cases on and show you what it looks like on the phone. So this is the kind of like decadent style case. You can see I've put some like Hello Kitty gifts here and then when you open the phone it's like that. And here is the back. Super cute. Let me know if this one is your favourite. So this is the Hello Kitty phone case on. I think it actually looks so cool. So that's obviously the back. Open up the phone and then you can close it. And it can be that way. I think I might have to do like another version of it where it like matches up properly. But at least this way, it's like still usable. Like so. And here is the Beemo case. So as you can see, it's like green. Got all the buttons and that. And then when you double tap, it shows up Beemo's face. So here are the three cases all together. Obviously I've only got one phone, so I've just left the Beemo case on it for now. So let me know what your favorite cases and if you would be trying any. Also I will put a link for the files to this 3D printed one as well in the description so check that out and please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!